Hey, girlies. Today an executive is forced by his rival to become his secretary to avoid going to prison. In Jue, Michael had been working at his company for over five years now. He had started out as a lowly intern and had worked his way up through the ranks to become one of the most respected and successful executives in the firm. He was known for his sharp mind and his ability to navigate complex financial situations with ease, but he was also known for his greed and his willingness to do whatever it took to get ahead, no matter what the cost to others or to himself. Over time, Michael had become more and more reckless in his pursuit of success and power. He had become adept at manipulating and deceiving others to get what he wanted, and had even begun embezzling money from the company in order to line his own pockets and fund his lavish lifestyle. He knew that what he was doing was wrong, and that he could end up in serious trouble if he was caught. But he couldn't help himself, and continued to take risks in the hopes of getting away with it. As Michael sat at his desk one day, he received an email from his boss asking him to prepare a report on the company's financial situation. He knew that this was an opportunity to make some quick money, and decided to manipulate the numbers in order to create a false report that would show him to be more successful than he truly was. He spent hours poring over the data and carefully crafting his lies in order to create a document that would make him look like a hero to his boss and his colleagues. But Michael had underestimated just how close his rival George was paying attention to his work. George had been suspicious of Michael's success for some time now and had been quietly gathering evidence to use against him if the opportunity ever presented itself. And when he saw Michael's false report sitting on his desk, he knew that he had him right where he wanted him. Michael couldn't believe what he was hearing as he stared down at the incriminating papers on his desk. He had spent days planning and preparing, ensuring every loose end was securely tied up so there would be no proof of his misdeeds. He felt his heart race in his chest as he stared at George, his rival at work who had just entered his office without so much as knocking. So it seems you have been caught, George said smugly holding up the papers Michael had been trying so hard to keep hidden. How does it feel to have everything crumbling around you? Michael felt his face flush with anger and embarrassment as he looked at the papers in George's hand. He knew it was all over now. There was no way he could escape this without serious consequences. George had caught him red-handed, and now he was being presented with two choices, change genders and become his rival's secretary or go to prison. Michael couldn't believe it. He had worked so hard to get where he was, and now everything was falling apart due to his own greed and selfishness. He knew he had made a terrible mistake, and now he was paying for it in ways he never thought possible. But even as he considered his options, one thing was clear. He couldn't let George win. As Michael considered his options, he felt a strange sensation wash over him. It started in his chest and quickly spread to his arms and legs, leaving him feeling weak and disoriented. His muscles twitched and contracted involuntarily as he watched in horror as his body began to change before his very eyes. His chest expanded and his shoulders narrowed as his arms and legs grew longer and thinner. His jawline softened as his chin receded and his nose became more delicate and feminine in shape. Michael's face turned ashen as he realised what was happening to him. He was transforming into a woman right in front of George's eyes. His heart pounded in his chest as he felt his hips widen and his buttocks soften. His manly bits retracted into his body as he felt his body becoming more curvaceous and feminine with each passing second. Michael gasped in pain as he felt his skin stretch and tighten around his growing chest and hips. His head pounded and his vision blurred as his body continued to change at an alarming rate. He felt tears streaming down his face as he realised that he was now trapped in this female body for the rest of his life, and there was nothing he could do to change it. As Michael struggled to come to terms with his new body, he noticed George watching him with a hungry and predatory look in his eyes. He knew that his rival was enjoying every moment of his pain and humiliation, and that there would be no escape from this nightmare he was now living in. 
Michael felt a sudden surge of anger and defiance as he realised that he was not going to let George win. He was not going to become his secretary and allow him to dominate him in this way. He would find a way to escape from this predicament and regain control of his life, no matter what it took. As Michael made his decision, he felt another wave of pain wash over him as his body continued to change and adapt to its new form. His hips widened and his breasts swelled even more as he felt his body becoming even more voluptuous and feminine in appearance. His voice got higher and his breathing grew ragged as he struggled to come to terms with his new identity as a woman. Michael realised that he was now completely at George's mercy and that there was nothing he could do to stop him from taking advantage of him in this way. He felt a sense of horror and dread as he considered what his life would now become as he was forced to submit to his rival in exchange for his freedom from prison. As Michael continued to transform into a woman, he felt George's hands on his body, fondling and caressing his new curves and contours with a growing sense of desire and lust. He knew that he was now completely in his rival's power and that there would be no escape from this terrible fate he was now facing. As Michael felt George's hands on his body, he realised that he was now completely and utterly feminised and subjugated to his rival's will. He had lost everything he had worked so hard to achieve in life, and now he was nothing more than a plaything for George's amusement and gratification. As Michael felt George's lips on his neck and his hands on his hips, he realised that he was now completely and utterly trapped in this female body for the rest of his life. There was no going back and no escape from this terrible fate he was now facing. He had become George's secretary and there was nothing he could do to change it. As Michaela struggled to come to terms with her new life as George's secretary, he found himself experiencing a strange and unexpected sensation of pleasure and satisfaction as he began to explore her new feminine body. She had spent so long trying to maintain her masculine facade and suppress her true desires that he had never allowed himself to fully embrace her femininity or explore her true self. But now that he was trapped in this female body for the rest of her life, he began to see the opportunities that it presented and the ways in which it could benefit him in her pursuit of pleasure and gratification. At first, Michella was hesitant and uncertain about her new body and how to use it to its full potential. She had spent her whole life as a man and had no idea how to navigate the complexities and nuances of being a woman. But as he began to explore her curves and contours and experiment with her newfound power, he realised that there were so many ways in which he could use this body to her advantage and make others submit to her will in ways that he had never thought possible before. As Michaela started to navigate the world of womanhood and embrace her new identity as a gorgeous woman, he began to attract the attention of other men who were drawn to her stunning beauty and seductive allure. She knew that he could use this to her advantage and began to manipulate and control her interactions with others in order to gain power and influence in ways that had never been possible before as a man. Michelle's days were now filled with steamy encounters and pleasure as he used her newly transformed body to seduce and dominate those around him. She had become a master of the art of flirtation and seduction, using her charm and wit to manipulate and control others in ways that left them feeling powerless and subjugated to her will. And as he continued to explore her new body and embrace her true identity as a woman, he began to realise that there were so many more ways in which he could use it to her advantage and achieve her goals and desires. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.